Hi guys, this is a, a brief and this is going to be a brief introduction to Syntropics, Syntropic Farming by uh, Ernst Kutsch. And I'll do that along the lines of the five principles, which the uh, first one is uh, ground cover, which means um, the ground has to be covered at all times, uh, which means either by a living plant, at least one, <laughs> one species, possibly lots. Um, or or dead decomposing matter which is giving life uh, uh, which is is being is the food and uh, the home for for the for the soil life um, but at best you have both you've got both second is maximizing photosynthesis so uh, you know when you see uh, like I've, so, I've seen an avocado field with like avocados this big planted there and just whole two square meters around there is nothing so it's basically a desert with one avocado plant every two every two meters every four meters um, so that's not maximizing photosynthesis maximizing photosynthesis would be that the whole thing would be covered with grain to make as as much as uh, photosynthesis and like harvest as much energy as possible and so um and I think one said he, he would plant a thousand plants, let's say a, a, a very big timber tree, to in the end have one. And now you also understand why nature or God is using seeds. <laughs> um, so the third thing is natural succession. So basically means every plant has a has a role when it actually gets introduced into the system. So that can be very early on in what we call the placenta. You know, like that's also how life emerged from just rock into a very abundant climax forest so uh, plants have their have their um, role in time when they get when they enter the system based on how much life they need and how hardy they are like the less hardy plants give less fruit or give less abundance but they can deal with harsher harsher conditions um Whereas the ones that need more abundance can also give more abundance, which means that we could possibly experience some trees that are still in the soil that could give an abundance we, we have never seen. Um, so now we're here. That was the extra succession with the herd. Now we're on the fourth, which is a certification, which means that basically just putting any tree in, in full light is not what it wants. Every plant has a single need for a special amount and type of sunlight or even type day, time in the day of sunlight. So summer emergence, that those are the ones that love full sunlight, like in Australia, eucalyptus. And some are lows, like you might know Davidson Plum or... or, um, or other vegetables that like that like a lot of shade and more like the green type of light and less light. And I can check my computer here. Um, and the last the last one would be management, which uh, includes um, pruning, which would naturally be done by um, by animals especially big animals like elephants that we mostly extinct in most parts of the world. So that's something that we want to do, especially if we want to accumulate life from a very devast like devastated place, deserted place. We need, to, um, we need to prune the trees so it stays in the, in the right amount of, uh, of need of light for every species and we create matter um, that recreates new life. Um, that was one that was very hard for me, but that I've accepted right now because I actually think that this would more or less happen in an accumulating space on Earth too. You know, just think about giraffes. So yeah, that's an under five minute uh, introduction to syntropic farming. I um, hope to make more extended ones in the future and show you some examples from uh, Neil and Jane's where we do our internship right now.